are in view the cutie. Just look at her. Aww. Isn't she so cute? Good kitten, Jeanette. Who's been a very good kitten today. And while she's been out, she has basically been on top of my hand ever since, which is why I haven't prepared anything for a vlog today. Today's the 19th. Um, some people may notice that I did not post a vlog day before yesterday. That is because I couldn't think about anything to do. Um, Saturday was a very busy day for me. And my brain just didn't want to work. Not after role-playing. Oh, just look how precious she is. I have no idea what to vlog about, by the way. I just felt like starting when there's a kitty that's... Just look at her! It's not like I shoved my hand underneath her or anything. She just... Gorgeous and so cute. So, for those that may not know, Boo Kitty was my father's cat. Um, I found her. I don't know if I'm even going to be editing this video, but if I do, editor me can insert in the picture that I have of her, or alternately link to the video that I had when I first met her. I met her for the first time when I went to deal with my father's things in his apartment after he had died. Um, he had two cats. There was Boo and Sissy. Sissy was not in the house. Um, when my grandmother arrived, she ran. So she actually had broken out of the house as my father had died, basically. Boo Kitty, on the other hand, stayed in the house and was very flea-bitten. She was alone for extended periods of time inside of a house without my father. And Boo Kitty is very, very attached to humans. At least I'm assuming this is Boo. It is actually possible that this is Sissy instead of Boo, and I just mixed them up. But I'm pretty certain that this is Boo Kitty. I don't think you can hear, because her purrs are usually fairly quiet, but she's been purring almost this entire time. Oh, and just stopped. Bukini here is ten years old, or ten and a half now, actually. Born in January of... 2011, as far as we can tell. Um, she was an outdoor cat in Florida, so we're not entirely sure of her exact birth date. It's somewhere around January. It could be off by plus or minus a couple of months, and unlike most places in the United States, cats tend to be born any time of the year in South Florida, rather than it being primarily kitten season one time of year. That's because Floridian weather doesn't really dictate any type of seasons whatsoever. She is a black and white cow kitty, as you can obviously tell. Um, she has pink little ears that are actually slightly translucent. There, you can sort of see where you can see through the ear pretty easily. I don't know, I've never noticed that in a cat that I've had before. But Boo Kitty is definitely not my first cow kitty. Um, in fact, she would actually be my third within my memory. Um, fourth forth. Uh, what else about Bukini? So when I got her, she was very overweight. Um, that's not because she was very, very overweight when I met her. Strangely enough, um, we think that she may have been starving when uh, she was found because one, ah, hold on a moment. Sorry, I had to scratch. Um, one, she was very um, neglected during the time period after my father had died. 
Uh, basically, one of my cousins and or my grandmother would come over and feed her every couple of days. And then, two, my mother, not being used to cats that do not self-regulate on food, kept feeding her. Boo Kitty is currently significantly lighter than the rest of my cats because she's a smaller cat, at least in compared to Isin and Zone. Um, she weighs... Uh, hold on. Yep, just looked it up. She weighs a little under 4 kilograms, or about 8.7, 8.8 pounds. Uh, for a frame of reference, my other cats are in the 5 kilogram range, so... She's significantly lighter, but when I first met her, she was basically a beach ball, um, and she weighed 7 kilograms. She has lost nearly 50% of her body weight, because she will eat everything. I have never, with one exception, seen her leave food in her bowl. So when I feed her, she will immediately gobble up all of the food in her bowl. If there's too much food in her bowl, she will throw it up, rather than slowing or slapping herself. She has slowed down on eating a little bit. I probably could put more food in her bowl, but she's still going to eat all of said food. So, yeah, no. She's actually the only cat left that I have that I must regulate food on for sure. Uh, another fun fact about her, we're pretty sure that she's had a seizure. Or something akin to one. We're not entirely sure what happened, but this probably would have been maybe about a year ago or so now. Um, more? Less? I'm not sure. I would have to look it up. But I came one day to her not eating the food in her bowl. Like I said, it's happened all but one time. And she didn't know where she was or who she was or who I was. Um, she was shaking like a leaf, not really moving around at all, and her body temperature had plummeted. She was shaking because her body temperature was so low. Uh, we got her to a vet, and the vet put her into an incubator, and once her body temperature reached normal, she instantly popped back to being a normal cat. We don't know what happened, because there's no evidence about what happened. The emergency vet's best guess was seizure, but we don't know for sure. That's not safe for work, kitty cat. Anyway, I'm going to feed her her very favorite thing ever. Boo kitty? Minnow? Would you like a minnow? Let's get you a minnow. Or a few minnows, even. Yep, that's right, kitty cat. I'm going to where you think I'm going to. So the reason why I keep this store closed is because this is where I store her minnows, along with other treats. Uh, minnows, yes, this says treats for dogs. For reference, if you have these types of treats in the US, you will notice that there's minnows for dogs and for cats. They are the identical thing. The only difference is the size of the package. So the treats for dogs are actually cheaper than the treats for cats because of volume. Oh, you missed, Kitty. <laughs> She's not very coordinated, by the way. I actually had to teach her to be this level of coordinated. Um, if this was Boo Kitty from two years ago, I would not be doing this. I would not be feeding her by hand. I would be tossing it because there's no way in hell my hand would survive. There you go. You're being a good Boo Kitty today, so you get minnows. Uh, for reference, I also have chicken... And rabbit. Uh, Boo will eat any of these for reference because she eats everything. But she vastly prefers minnows to the other ones. Let's see if I can open up the chicken one. Sorry, Boo. I'm filming at the same time. It's not easy to open these little bags with one hand. Okay, hold on. Okay. Chicken bite time? So these are just freeze-dried bits of chicken for this one. And 
freeze-dried minnows and freeze-dried bits of rabbit for the other one. Um, each of my cats has a preference between them. Boo definitely prefers minnows over everything else. She will eat the rest, but minnows she will do tricks for, basically. Um, not that I can... Okay, I need to pause this again because I can't open these tiny little bags with one hand. There's very little grasping space. Hold on. She's standing right there, being very cute. Let's get a little bit of rabbit. Ah, that's my finger. <laughs> yeah, I guess the rabbit and finger do kind of look similar. She didn't bite down or anything. She's more like she stuck her my finger in her mouth. See? Okay, Boo Kitty. It's time to get out of here. Ah, oh, let's see. Other fun facts about Boo. She is the smelliest of my cats. Because unlike every other cat I've ever met, she does not bury her waist. I don't know why she doesn't bury her waist, but she doesn't. Which means that it always smells in her room. Boo, I closed the door. <laughs> In addition to not helping things, um, the vet thinks that she has a malformed urinary tract. Not anything that's going to harm her, but she urinates sideways. So when she tries to urinate, it goes vertically. Cats. Anyway, uh, I again, I'm just... Not sure what to do for a video today, so I decided today's video is just going to be about Boo. I know absolutely nobody's going to mind. Talk to you tomorrow, Internet. Bye!